Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Carol and I'm so glad that you stopped by. I hope you will consider subscribing. So today we are going to be using our sourdough starter to make some delicious zucchini bread. For those of you who have followed my channel for very long, you know that I love sourdough baking and we're always trying to find ways to use up our discard, right? So today I have a delicious recipe for you and we're going to be using discard. Now this recipe is for sourdough zucchini bread. It is by King Arthur Baking. It is on their website. I will leave a link for you in the description box below. So when I came across this recipe, I thought it was perfect for this time of year. Our gardens are exploding with zucchini, right? Everyone loves zucchini bread and we're always trying to find different ways to change it up a little bit. So today we're going to change it up with our sourdough discard. So it's a two for one. It's a great way to use up your discard and a new way to make zucchini bread. Now this recipe uses some ingredients that I wouldn't normally include in zucchini bread outside of the sourdough discard. Um, they're using, for sweetening, they're using sugar and honey. Um, they're using some vegetable oil, that's common, eggs, that's common, nutmeg is common. The recipe also includes some lemon zest, which is a little bit different for traditional zucchini bread. Uh, vanilla, that's typical. And then for our flour, they are recommending one cup of whole wheat white flour and three quarters of a cup of traditional all-purpose flour. I'm not gonna use the white whole wheat flour, I'm just gonna use all all-purpose flour. Um, but that is an option for you and in the description box I will list the recipe for you both ways. What I'm using and what their recommendations are. Uh, for leavening we're going to be using baking soda, baking powder, and some salt. We need two cups of grated zucchini. They are saying somewhere between firmly and lightly packed. I did finely shred mine and basically firmly packed it. The recipe also calls for three quarters of a cup of chopped walnuts lightly toasted. I'm going to leave those out. That's an option. If you want to add nuts, you certainly can. I'm going to leave them out today. I'm kind of doing this recipe on the fly and I was out of walnuts. So I'm going to leave them out, but they would be delicious if you wanted to add them in. And then the last ingredient is three quarters of a cup of raisins, currants, or dried cranberries, which I thought is a really nice addition and something a little bit different in zucchini bread. So I'm going to be adding three quarters of a cup of raisins, but you could also do currants or cranberries um, as they suggest here. And again, I will list the uh, recipe as written and the changes that I am making. So we are going to start by whisking together all of our wet ingredients and then we're going to whisk together our dry ingredients, put them together, and then bake them in a nine by five inch baking pan. Okay, so for the starter, I just took mine out of the refrigerator and let it sit on the counter until it got nice and bubbly. Hopefully you can see all the bubbles there. Then what you want to do is you want to stir it down and then we're going to measure out three quarters of a cup. Okay, we have our three quarters of a cup of our discard. What's left, I'm gonna go ahead and feed and let it get nice and happy and then I'll stick it back in the fridge until I'm ready to bake with my starter again. So we need three quarters of a cup of starter and again, you can use fed or discard. I'm using my discard. Then we're going to add two eggs. We're gonna add a quarter of a cup of honey, six tablespoons of a neutral flavored oil. I just used canola. We also need a half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon and a half of our lemon zest. Then we also need a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. I make my own. If you aren't making your own, you should give it a try. It's delicious and really easy to do. So I'm going to whisk all that together. The discard can be kind of tricky to incorporate into your other liquids. Just do the best that you can with it. Okay, so for our dry ingredients, I have one and three quarters cup of flour. Again, you could divide that and have uh, one cup of white whole wheat flour and three quarters of a cup of all purpose. I'm using all all purpose. And then we need a teaspoon of baking powder. A half of a teaspoon of baking soda. A quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. A 
and a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just gonna use my Danish whisk. Danish whisks are fantastic for quick breads. I'm just gonna use it to whisk all that together. And then we are going to incorporate our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. Now with quick breads, as with pancakes and that kind of thing, you do not ever want to over mix. So just mix it and, or stir it until it's incorporated. And then we are going to add in our two cups of zucchini and three quarters of a cup of raisins. If you are using nuts, you would add them here as well. And it's three quarters of a cup that you would want. Gently stir until combined already. And then I just sprayed my baking pan with a little bit of cooking spray. You do want to grease it a little bit. And then we're going to pour that into our loaf pan. You can also do this in a tea loaf pan as well. I'm just using a traditional bread pan. We're going to pop this into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Then we're going to tent it so that it doesn't get too brown on top and bake it for about another 20 minutes. Okay guys, we are all done. I baked my zucchini bread for 40 minutes like they said, and then they said you could tent it and then bake it for another 20. I didn't find the need to tent mine. Um, it was just nice and golden brown on top. It wasn't browning too much. So I did not tent mine and I went ahead and actually it was 45 minutes and then 20. So I baked mine for a total of 65 minutes and it was perfect. I've let it cool and then I've cut it. It's still a little bit warm, but I did let it cool some. Um, and I have tasted it. Uh, this is definitely different zucchini bread. Um, I did want to show you, give you a close up. It is very tasty, but it is very different. The sourdough just adds a little bit of tang in the background. You really don't recognize it as sourdough. It is definitely a nice moist bread like most zucchini breads are. Uh, zucchini is known for um, lending some moisture. So we would expect it to be um, nice and moist. It's got a really nice tender crumb to it. The raisins I enjoy a lot. The nuts would be fantastic here. You can definitely taste the lemon in the background. And as I was tasting it, I was thinking orange would be just as lovely. So if you have lemon or orange on hand, they would both be delicious. So whatever zest you wanna use, either would work really well here in my opinion you have the beautiful flex of the zucchini i did leave my zucchini the peeling on them you can peel your zucchini if you prefer i love the green flex throughout it makes it really pretty the one thing i will say this is definitely less spiced than most zucchini bread so if you like that really rich cinnamon and um nutmeg flavor you might want to add some more seasonings here this is very lightly uh, flavored with the nutmeg it was only a quarter of a teaspoon and they didn't the recipe did not call for any other spices so if you like a more heavily spiced zucchini bread like traditional zucchini bread is you might want to add more and like i said the lemon is really nice in there orange would be fantastic as well the one thing i will say is this recipe uses quite a bit less sugar than most traditional zucchini breads use. Uh, we only used a total of three quarters of a cup, I believe, of any type of sweetener. It was honey and uh, regular granulated sugar together. It was only three quarters of a cup. So it is not a really sweet zucchini bread. So if you are someone who finds traditional zucchini bread too sweet, you would appreciate this recipe. And you can really taste the honey. The honey lends a really nice flavor in the background if you groove on honey. If you do not like honey, you probably will not enjoy this. And I think I would just go ahead and replace the honey with regular sugar if that is the case because the honey does really shine through. So there's a lot of complex flavors going on here, which I think is really nice. Like I said, you can taste the lemon in the background. You get a little bit of tang from the sourdough. Um, 
you don't really taste the zucchini. Um, it's lightly spiced. So it's very different from zu traditional zucchini bread. So, but I do think that this recipe is definitely worth trying. Um, I did enjoy making it today, but just know that it is definitely different. This is not your traditional zucchini bread in any way, shape or form. It's less sweet, it's less spiced, it has the zing from the lemon in it and a little bit of tang from the sourdough. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. I think this recipe is worth giving a try. It is definitely tasty, but it is definitely different than your traditional zucchini bread. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them for me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.